Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to work a provisional cast on. So this method uses a crochet hook. I find that it's a lot easier than um, crocheting some chains and then trying to knit through that. So working a provisional cast on is keeping your beginning stitches live so that you can later come back and start knitting from there. So if your pattern calls for a provisional cast on, it's most likely that you'll need to work from that end at some point in the pattern. All right, let's get started. To work a slip knot holding on to your tail end, wrap your working yarn around your finger over the tail and then insert your hook into that loop to grab the working yarn. Okay, so you wanna grab your needle and place it next to your crochet hook, making sure the working yarn goes under. Make sure that this loop is not on too tight. So now you're going to take your crochet hook, go over your needle, yarn over, and then pull it through the loop on your hook. And you want to make sure your yarn is in the back of the needle again. Crochet hook over the needle, yarn over, and pull through. Yarn in the back, crochet hook over the needle, yarn over, and through the loop. Yarn in the back. So you're going to repeat until you have the number of stitches that you need for your project. So I'm going to stop here and then cut my yarn. I like to place a marker on the loop so that I don't lose it or so that it doesn't unravel. And then you're going to start knitting from the beginning tail end. So I'm going to use this purple color. And this would just be like switching colors. So there's one stitch, two, three, and then I'm just going to knit in garter stitch, which is knit on both sides, until I have about enough to show you how to pull off the cast on. I've worked a few rows. I'm ready to remove my scrap yarn and start knitting on this side. So I placed a stitch marker there earlier. So you want to loosen this side, not, not your beginning tail, but the other end. Okay, so I pulled off the tail. So looking at this stitch here, I want to insert my needle through the loop of my purple and then pull off the scrap yarn. So if I pulled on this, it would unravel this stitch right here, okay? So I want to insert my needle from the bottom up because that's going to keep my stitches in the right direction. And then I'll go ahead and pull the scrap yarn off of that loop and then you just continue into the next loop and then pull off the scrap yarn. Okay, next stitch. You want to insert your needle 
and then pull on this scrap yarn and then you just eventually you'll have this end on needles that you can start working with oops So I have successfully placed the beginning of my work onto a needle and then you can start working from there. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos. I'll see you next time.